Let's move on to method 2 in computing for the variance and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution. So in here, the method 2 formula for, the, for computing for the variance is variance is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus mean squared. Kanina kasi sa method 1 is summation of x minus mean squared times p of x. Ngayon naman is you have your x summation of x squared times p of x minus mean squared. Again, the variables x is random variable, represents var random variable, and p of x is your probability of your random variable x. For standard deviation, is it is still the square root of your variance. Alright? So, let's apply the formula using this example. We have example number one. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation given the following data below. In here, we are tasked to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation using the method 2 or the alternative method. So, we have first our first column. This is your random variable given. Second column, probability of x given. To compute for the mean, we have to use again the first formula or the formula that we have discussed earlier. So the mean is summation of x times p of x. That will be your third column, the product of x times p of x. So first column times second column, 0 times 1, then that is, that is equivalent to 0. 1 multiplied by 2 over 10, that's 2 over 10. Up to 4 times 2, that is, that is 8 over 10. And simply add your third column, that is the summation of the product of x times p of x. That is equivalent to 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 divided by 10 or simply copy the common denominator. That is equivalent to 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8, that is 22 divided by 10. Divide, that is equal to 2.2. This is now your mean, which we will use in computing for the variance. The variance is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus mean squared. So to get your variance, we have to have a product of your random variable squared times p of x. That is the content now of your fourth column. So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, whatever the value of your random variable or your first column times itself mo and then multiply by the probability of x or your second column. So, in here, 0 times 1 over 10, anything multiplied by 0 is still 0. For this one, we have 1 squared times 2 over 10, right? So, 1 squared is still 1 times 2 over 10. That's equivalent to 2 over 10. 2 squared times 3 over 10. That is equivalent to 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 over 10. Be careful class ha, kasi baka mamaya mamalikmata kayo ma ang may multiply nyo yung third column imbis na second column or your P of X. Okay, just be careful. And then we have 3, 3 squared times 2 over 10, that's 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18 over 10, and for the last one, 4, 4 squared, that is 16 times 2 over 10, so that's 32 over 10. Get the sum of this, and you'll get the summation of x squared times p of x, the summation of your fourth column, minus, you still have the additional in your formula for the variance, that is minus mean squared. The value of your mean is 2.2. So, minus 2.2 squared. So, simplify further. You have 2 plus 12 plus 18 plus 32. That is equal to 64. Divide by 10, that is 6.4. Minus 2.2 squared is equivalent to 4.84. Subtract 6.4 minus 4.84, it will give you it will give you an answer that is 1.56 and actually this 1.56 now is your variance. To get your standard deviation, all you have to do is to get the square root of your variance. So ang square root ng 1.56 is 1.25. 
So, this is now your standard deviation. Again, you have your computed variance and your computed standard deviation. If you'll notice, if we have to compare your method 1 and method 2, yung method 1, 6 columns before arriving at the variance and standard deviation. While for method 2, you have 4 columns. For example number 2, let's say we have this. Find the variance and standard deviation given the following data below. Again, since uh, we, are, we are only looking for variance standard deviation, kahit na variance and standard deviation lang kinukuha natin, kailangan pa rin na i-compute natin yung mean. Alright, so these are the given random variable and their corresponding probabilities. To compute for the mean, we have to multiply x times p of x and get their sum. So, x times p of x, 19 times 0 0.20, that's 3.80, alright? So, multiply is the operation, multiplication. And then, you have to add 3.8 plus 4 plus 6.3 and so on up to 2.3. Take note, wala na tayong denominator kasi naman ang given naman natin is decimal at wala namang denominator dito. So, simply add. And, and the sum is 20.80, that's the mean. Now, to get the variance, let us multiply x squared times p of x and get their sum. And then, subtract 2 mean squared, right? So, fourth column, so you have your x squared times p of x, 19 squared times 0.20. So first column times its first column times itself, and then multiply again the second column. Ganon lang, right? So you'll get these values. If you get the sum of this, seventy-two point two plus eighty plus one thirty-two point three, and so on, minus your mean that it's twenty point eighty squared, you'll get. Um, the sum of this, that is 434.2 minus 20.8 squared, that is 432.64. Subtract the 2, you will get a difference of 1.56. Again, that's your variance. Square root of 1.56 is still 1.25, right? So you have your variance and you have your standard deviation. So again, we've computed for the mean variance and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution using method 2. Okay, thank you for watching and listening. I-discuss natin yung next topic sa next episode.